Hi, I'm Tanya and this is my life page. Today we'll be talking about entrepreneurship. Before that, let me introduce myself. I'm Tanya Negi. I'm an event planner. Uh, my company's name is Tanya Events. It is basically a shuffle of my name, Tanya and Tanya. So uh, we are into this business since four years and we are a group of people who really want to you know, do different things and do things differently. Me and my friends started it and uh, with an idea to do something really different and to innovate different things in the field of event management. Entrepreneurship is basically uh, having the ability to take decisions for yourself, to have a vision and to work for that vision rigorously without taking a step back. So entrepreneurship is all about hard work and smart work with perseverance to deliver what to deliver your vision to the people that you want to cater. So the first education is marketing. Basically marketing means to understand what you want to do and how you want to market it. See, for example, if I have an idea. So the first thing is that how am I going to make other people understand what that idea is about and how relevant that idea is in the market that we are in. Okay and how to sell that idea because if you have an idea and if you're not able to sell it, sell it means to make other person understand why this idea is important, what is this idea about and what is the future of this idea. First is you have to be perseverant. You know what happens is when we have an idea and a dream maybe we can call it so we want to do certain thing but we don't we all, always think about the good aspects of it. We never think the kind of you know difficulty we're gonna have while we are in that journey. We are not going to become a millionaire in just one day. So what is very important is to persevere, to persevere through that hard times, and to stick to your dream and not to fall back. Positive point in entrepreneurship is that you are your own boss. You have to mind your own self. You can take a nap whenever you want to. And but at the same time, you have to be very strict and disciplined with yourself. But that is a positive point, right? We can do the things the way we want to rather than listening to somebody whose idea we are not able to match. So you have to be your own boss. You have to be happy with yourself. You have to give yourself a vacation. You have to get yourself right on time. That is the main, you know, fun of being an entrepreneur. First. Um, you have a lot of competition in the market. There are various people who with the same passion and dedication want to build something of their own and they, they are your competition. So you have to break that competition and how you break that competition is just by fighting a little harder than them. There is a list of things which is there in my mind that I have to do today. I have to go to office, I have to meet this person, I have to, you know, do this, clear check of this person, you know, create a new idea or certain thing. So yes, the first thing that I go, uh, you know, do when I go into my office is I just sit. I just sit with my team. I talk to them about, you know, everything that has happened last day. And we just, you know, chill down the atmosphere. And then we go to our room. Then we do our to-do list, which is very important in my office is to give a to-do list is the kind of work that you're going to do today. So we list down everything that we have to do. We have to meet a client. We have to give a quotation to a client. You know, do that. Then after that, we sit, we create something new. We think about some idea that is different, that is nobody's doing. Then the other thing that we do is I sit with my accountant. I sit with my co-founder, my partner, and we try to understand what are we doing right, what are we not doing right, if we want to do something new, and how to go about it, how to plan it, and then accounting. I have to sit with my accountant, see what are the debts, what are the losses we have incurred, what are the profits that we have incurred. So basically, an entrepreneur do everything. You're a geologist, you're an accountant, you are an artist and overall you're an entrepreneur who has to do everything and everything means everything from cleaning your office to giving checks to people to doing an interview 
and everything that is a part of your life so you can say that you know being an entrepreneur your life becomes like a drama you have to play every part and you have to be best at it i hope i have given you a balanced view about entrepreneurship thank you